Am I surprised? I think everybody was surprised, and not just because it was him. It was because it, it happened. It's totally unbelievable when I think about it. An achievement like that obviously comes once in a lifetime. I cried. I mean, just thinking about it now, you know, and getting a little bit teary-eyed now because I've never seen that. It's just something that just doesn't happen very often. How often do you get to uh, be a part of history? Yeah, it's pretty special to be there. My name is Rick Baird. I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm the IT manager of my company, Patton's Medical, and I shot a perfect 18 in putt-putt. We all began playing this in our youth and really enjoyed it as kids. I've been playing since I was 10 years old. I've been playing putt-putt for 21 years now. I started playing putt-putt you know, 55 years ago. Just went out to the local tournament and played there. From that point on, I was hooked. Everybody has their one thing that they're good at, and if you ever find it, you want to stick with it. I found the one thing that I was good at, and I just kept sticking with it. It was an average day. I had actually practiced pretty well before the tournament started. It was cold and it was windy. We're all wearing long pants, we're all wearing jackets. Daryl and Vince are two of the best players in the world to play with. They're two of my favorites. I always enjoy playing with Rick. We've become real close friends. To get to a group with them just means we were gonna have a good day. That round, we were all playing well. We were all feeding off of each other. Hole three, you have to hit basically perfect to make it. It really got me going because that was a hole I'd been struggling with. You get your emotions in the right way and you get a lot of positive thinking going on. Felt really good. We always tried to shoot a nine on either of the nines. I already had the perfect nine, so now it's just how many more can you get? I had the opportunity one time to make the first 13 holes, left the 14th about three inches behind the cut. It was a backdoor shot. 14 is one where you have to play it backdoor, where it rolls past the hole, hits the back rail, and comes back in and I hit it too easy. And as soon as I hit it, I was like, oh, this is it. I got really lucky because it went straight in up the hill. When I made 14, I was like, I got a chance. That's all I kept thinking. You know, keep them pumped, keep them focused, support them, you know, let's do this. Word was starting to spread around the course and people started watching. I could see them from the other holes. 16 was really the hole I was actually worried about because not made it at all in practice. You gotta go up a hill, miss the hole, hit the back rail, and then it kicks in. We knew something was happening after Rick made the 16th hole. Everybody on the course stopped playing to come watch me play 17. Hole 17 is a really monster hole because you've got to get a little bit lucky that you get the right kick off the triangle and then the right kick again off that back rail. I thought 17 would be his downfall just like it got me. I played with Daryl Freeman when he shot a 19. I started out with 16 in a row and missed 17. I could see how the emotion of it just kind of got to him a little bit. There's a lot of pressure because it builds up toward the end. When it went in, I kind of forgot the rest of the crowd was standing around watching, so when they all started cheering when I made it, I jumped a little bit. We saw him make hole number 17, which, you know, once he made that one, it was like, oh my God, we gotta get this in video. That's when it really hit me that I've got a chance to shoot 18, I got a chance to be a part of history. On that last shot, he backed away. I could tell that, uh, you know, the adrenaline was probably pumping and he was a little nervous. My legs were going. 90 miles an hour every which way except the way I want him to do, which is to be still. I said, it's all right, Rick. Hit it when you're ready. Got back into my pre-shot routine, lined it up, looked at the mark that I was playing, and hit it. I don't remember hitting it, and I don't remember seeing it. I saw it about a foot from the hole, and I just hoped I'd hit the right speed.
then the place just goes crazy. I was privileged to witness it. That will stick with me for as long as I live. Well, you know, every time you step out on a putt-putt court, it's perfection impossible. Until you miss a hole. We spend thousands and thousands of hours practicing, hitting thousands and thousands of shots over and over and over. It's a skill. It's an art. Uh, try it sometime if you don't believe it. <laughs> we all just want each other to play the best that they can play and just hope that we play better than they do. What happens after it leaves my putters, you know, it's up to the putting gods to watch out for us. Come on. Yeah, yeah. That's the 18 right there, folks.